welcome to the rectory on this Ash Wednesday. We are presenting for you a service of the word, a service of reading, prayer and music. And we hope that you will enjoy it. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you will not despise. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, since early days Christians have observed with great devotion the time of our Lord's passion and resurrection and prepared for this by a season of penitence and fasting. By carefully keeping these days Christians take to heart the call to repentance and the assurance of forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel, and so grow in faith and in devotion to our Lord. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the Church, to the observance of a holy Lent, by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word. The Collect for the Start of Lent let us pray for grace to keep Lent faithfully. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, Perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now have a reading from the letter to the Corinthians. It comes from St Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5. Paul says, We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, At an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way, through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labours, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left. In honour and dishonour, in ill repute and good repute, we are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and see, we are alive, as punished, and yet not killed. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we hear some reflective music.
Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord is a great God. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. All praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, Beware of practising your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So, whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your arms may be done in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Now we come to a time of meditation. And Jesus went into the wilderness and spent 40 days there. So let us take ourselves safely alone to the desert. It's hot and you feel the heat coming from the sand beneath you and the sun above you. But it's Jesus who calls to you. Hear him as he beckons you to come to him. Listen as Jesus tells you that life is full of temptations that lead away from doing God's will. There is a knowing twinkle in his eye when he tells you that often the devil will sabotage you when you are praying and trying your hardest to discern and follow the will of God. He reminds you that you mustn't give up or be too hard on yourself. And yet, he does ask you now to share with him what three temptations are the most difficult for you to resist. Take this time to be honest with yourself and Jesus. Gently, Jesus reaches over and places his hands around yours. Hear him offer you his love, forgiveness and understanding. He tells you that he offers them to you freely to infuse within you the strength and courage that you need. Hear him as he warmly promises you the grace to surrender willingly to only what God wants for you, and the grace to resist any temptations that go against God's will for you. Jesus is very sincere. Think about what he has offered to you. With his help, can you open yourself to surrendering? Jesus tells you that his retreat in the desert has been a valuable time of being silent and listening to the Most High God speaking within him. He tells you that he also wants this kind of time for you, 
so that you might surrender your life to God. Jesus prayerfully invites you to be quiet and in the presence of God to listen within your heart as God speaks to you to help you name the ways and means that will help you resist temptation and avoid things, situations or people that shame you, that lessen your self-love, that weaken your spiritual relationship, that diminish the kingdom. With God's loving guidance, spend this time soul searching, seeking out what you need from God to be faithful, like Jesus to the living out of God's will, despite the lure of sinfulness. Jesus looks at you with tenderness. Softly he tells you that he honours you for your life, your pains, your joys, your difficult choices, your new resolve, and your part in the kingdom. Hear him say your name and that your God loves you as he places his warm, strong, brown arms upon your head in blessing. He prays a prayer of surrender for you. It's time for you to leave now. Your heart is full as you follow your way back by the imprints of your earlier footsteps in the sand. As you walk, allow yourself to feel the impact of your desert surrendering. Amen. Now we take a time of quiet as we hear the music for a reflection Take my life, Lord.
Now we come to the liturgy of penitence. Let us now call to mind our sin and infinite mercy of God. From all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity and hypocr hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent, good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws, good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil, good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death and at the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power and by your preaching of the kingdom, good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion and by your precious death and burial, good Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection and your glorious ascension and by your sending of the Holy Spirit, Good Lord, deliver us. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins. And grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Let us remember that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. God, give us strength to turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father.
Govern and direct your holy church, fill it with love and truth, and grant it unity, which is your will. Give us boldness, Lord, to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all nations. Enlighten your ministers with knowledge and understanding that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred or are deceived. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen, and finally subdue evil beneath our feet. Guide the leaders of the nations into the ways of justice and peace. Guard and strengthen your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, that she may put her trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all. Bless and keep all your people, help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved and the oppressed. Keep in safety all who travel and all who are in danger. Heal the sick in body and mind and provide for the homeless, the hungry and the destitute. Show pity on prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble. Forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and turn their hearts. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Father, you hear those who pray in the name of your Son. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may obtain according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. As we say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now we listen as we hear, Calm me, Lord.
After the blessing, we will hear our hymn, My Song is Love Unknown, sung by members of our choir. The blessing, Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love, now and always. Amen. Oh. 